Hello everybody, welcome to race two of the ARWS Spot Cup series, season two. We are, are we have returned to Lime Rock Park. Yes, Lime Rock Park where we, this is where we hosted our ninth race this season. Last season. So pretty interesting. Daniel Day, who won here last season, he's on outside and also we're gonna explain this new system for road courses. It's hard to tell who the pole sitter is on these road courses sometimes. So, we're going to implement this new rule. It's called the whole shot. If you watch Supercross, you know what I'm talking about. What happens is that the first person to get through turn one will earn the pole position. So, also Nuggle on the outside. He could potentially get the whole shot if he gets a good start. Same for Jacob Lawler. It's going to be the battle between those two for it. They come, goes to the green flag, into turn one. Who's going to get the whole shot? Lawler looking strong. Jacob Lawler gets it. That chicane back there is what determines it. And now Lawler's going to try and hold on to position. Said Colney, I mean, Austin Ogo on the outside. Well, he was on the outside. Cody Lama is stuck behind Ogo. Jacob Lawler almost won the championship last season. He was a contender, but he got, but he was involved in a very bad luck situation. Now Cody Lama passes Austin Ogo for second place. Lawler looking very strong, but Cody Lamas is trying to move his way up. Lamas was involved in the big one at the uh, Talega race. Oh, Lawler and Lamas went way wide. As they go through this winding area, here's the battle for 7th, I believe, or 6th. Jeffrey Buckeye's trying to hold on. From Trevor Brosis, who's charging after him. And now Drew Austin's made his presence know. Drew Austin, Talladega winner, he did a very good job sporting his debut in the five. Looking to have a very good season as he's trying to get past Charlie Fibrosis. Jeffrey Buckeye. Did pretty decently at Taldegi, hung on a good bit. And now, oh, Traffic Brosis went through that turn much better than he did. He's going to try and take the position away, and he gets it. It's going to take sixth away. Now, Drew Austin is making his way past Buckeye. There's Dylan Young. Dylan Young was the last driver on the lead lap at Talladega before he got before when he when he got involved in the big one. He didn't DNF, but and now he's making his way past Buckeye while Buckeye is just dropping positions. Daniel Day dropped a couple positions as well. As Jacob Lawler has a very decent gap at the moment. And now Trevor Brosis under William Duncan for fifth place. If I Brosis is gonna take it. And now another battle going on here. Drew Austin, Jeffrey Buckeye. Buckeye's trying to regain the positions he lost. There's Jason Tross, he's made his way up. Tross did a good job at Talladega at hanging on to a third place in his debut. He was the best finishing Roush driver. Uh, we got a battle up here. Drew Austin's trying to get past Jeffrey Buckeye. Move up through the front. A lot of Fords up in the front. Cody Lawless is battling logo again. There's Justin Perry. He's slightly moved his way up to fourth place. Nah, 
amazing Pepsi scheme of his. Let's check back. The field is spread out a good bit. There's Mason Wood and Richard Johnson. Oh, this is, this could not and this might not well. Mason Wood have finished last place, I think. Finished last place at Talladega. He was he was the first one of the first ones in the field to wreck, and he's up to 14th right now. Richard Johnson on his tail. We had someone go way wide off, and that was Charles Jackson, I think. I think it was Charles Jackson. So now he has to battle Dylan Schwallenberg. Eugene Max and Matthew Fuller. Let's continue to go back. There's Dustin Griffiths. Dustin Griffiths had a very bad Daytona. He flipped over. There's Will Goss. Austin the Plant. Eric Burton. Oh, wait. Is something wrong with Hayden Klein? Hayden Klein, he's got front damage. And we're missing two drivers. And don't. And I did set 28. What the heck happened? We're going to have to look and see uh, what happened here. Well, we didn't see this. Watch what happens with the 8 and the 19 of Charles Jackson. The 19 turns Klein. And watch Klein just go right into everybody, into Nick Mason and Jake Cole. Those were the two that were missing, and then, oh, someone else got a piece of it. That was Derek Bonassi, or Bonassi. That was a very um, bad luck moment for Jake Cole and Nick Mace. Wow, look at the Max. He barely snuck through that one. Let's get it. Let's take a look at an onboard of Demax right quick. Let's get to his onboard roof. There goes Klein. Wow, you got very lucky there. <laughs> Excellent job by Eugene Demax of avoiding that. With three laps to go, Jacob Lawler is driving at home pretty much. He's got no challengers at the moment. Cody Lamas has failed to move his way up there. Austin Nogo. Driver Brussels has made a good job of moving up to fourth. William Duncan trying to make up for his bad Talladega run as he's now charging after Drew Austin. Drew Austin does a good start to the season already. Foul for second continues on. Cody Lamas and Austin Ogo. Uh oh, Ogo's right on his bumper. He's trying to get by him. Not sure if he's going to be able to do it. As Jacob Lawler's got no competition. Ogo now after Lamas. Jacob Lawler trying to get Penske's first win. They were the one of the only few teams winless last season. Kevin Y. Megan Atkins never won once. And Jacob Lawler gonna bring home a, a win for Penske if he can just hold on for a little while longer. Kyle Sosnowski, late bloomer, he's slowly worked his way. There's Michael Block and Richard Johnson battling for 13th place. Get up, back up to the front. Hayden Klein, official, Hayden Klein's not going to make a difference. It's Jacob Lawler, just a few more turns to go. Coming out of the final turn. 
Jacob Lawler wins at Lime Rock Park. His first AWS Puck Cup Series win and Penske t his team's first ever win in this series history. Cody Lama is going to come out with a second. Austin Ogle with a third. Trevor Brosis came out with a fourth. Justin Perry, fifth. William Duncan did a good job. Drew Austin got another good finish. Daniel Day didn't live up to the expectations. Dylan Young did a decent job. And then Jeffrey Buckeye was moved up a lot. Moved back. Uh, and yeah, he, he, went, he was everywhere. Richard Johnson, 12th place for him. Better than nothing, I suppose, for that one car team. Sean Gallagher in the 15th. Schwallenberg went from se went from a second place to a 16th place. Jason Tross fell back really quickly. He was up in the front earlier, and then he fell all the way back somehow. It's Charles Jackson, the uh, villain of the day. And then Nick Mace is still on track. He knows damage. There's Hayden Klein trying to make it around. One last time for him. And that's it. Congratulations to. <laughs> Sorry about that. Congratulations to the winner. That was epic. Well, not really epic, but congrats to Jacob Lawler. Did a good job after uh, missing. After missing um, Talladega, managed to get a win and won the two two bonus points. So, congrats to Jacob Lawler. And we'll see you guys for race three.